Alright, I'm back. There was a slip up. I didn't realize I said I freaking recorded before he fell asleep. fucking slept. weeks now. I, I've been catching him on this. He's like, I didn't say that. I'm like, ugh. No, I, I caught myself. I'm sorry. I had to call you out that you had said that. And he went back to check the video if, to see if I and, was right. And, It's nothing against you, bro. I, I'm scared because if it's if it, if it's getting this bad, how is it gonna be with other people besides me, bro? Hold on, I'm. And now you know why I'm. I'm. I think about giving answers to you because of shit like this. I'm just gonna let you start thinking your fucking answers now. Jeez. I'm I'll not sure, you, but I will hope I to have, if, if I have make to sure. give you a minute to think your answers, go ahead, because I don't want right. you to fuck up. I will make sure this doesn't happen again. It might happen again. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, also because I don't have a freaking... Focus meds. That could. Is that happen. why? Yeah, I don't mind. Okay, that's it. Methylphenidate. And we still haven't gotten the text from CVS. No, no, it's like at this point we just call fucking Virgil see if we can get it. All right. What's today? Thursday. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, call them. Dead to right. Say it's an emergency. Tomorrow morning, emergency. emergency I though. need methylphenidate. Got it. That's why I can't say my sentences right, because my brain is fucking scattered brain, because it's not focusing on what to say. That's why I'm having trouble speaking. I wonder why. I'm starting to understand why I have to take my methylphenidate. <laughs> yeah. so fucking speak correctly. So we correctly. don't kill each other. No, no, I can speak correctly. Like, fuck up. Doesn't help that you don't have your mood stellars, I don't have my methyl venonate, so we're both at each other's fucking throats. Yeah. Oh, hey, I got five more health from my uh, chest. Sick. Okay. Oh, go away. Stephanie! You whore! <laughs> You're not gonna get that reference if you don't watch wrestling. That's why I made that reference. <laughs> My God, the most and if you do low watch key wrestling, fucked and you know up what moment I've about, ever seen. You're, then you're a real one. The most, the most fucked up thing I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> can we can we talk about the one time where Hulk Hogan accidentally fucking did blackface in the WWF? Oh wait, that was that was Roddy Roddy Piper. Yeah, no, that wasn't Hulk. That was Roddy. <laughs> I think what Hulk did was worse, technically. Here's the worst part. You know what? You know Roddy. That was his idea. That was, he did that on purpose. Yeah, that wasn't even Vince's idea. That, that was Roddy's time. idea. Yeah. I mean, that is a good way to get heat, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm starting to think the storylines made Vince McMahon go fucking insane. I like how- I, 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 I think it's pretty much that's what happened. Because since the storylines kept getting progressively more and more outlandish, the I crazier mean, Vince McMahon- it Paul Heyman when he was running Raw- the fucking the Rusev cucking storyline was his idea. No, it wasn't. It was Paul That was Heyman's not idea. Paul Heyman's. That was Are Paul you Heyman's kidding idea. me? Yes. You mean the one we had to spend two months on? Yes. Was that was his? That was nah. Paul Heyman's. Nah. 
Joe. Fuck I'm, that. I'm gonna be real. If it was in early ECW, I think that would have run well. But yeah, it would have run well. But this is fucking WWE we're talking about. And and think about it, bro. You know what it was? If he had cut it half of the time he had used that that like storyline for, I think it would have been fine. I don't think it would have been that bad. But the fact that no, it went issue. on for so no. fucking long. Here's the also issue. There was no fucking build up towards it. So there was and no Rusev payoff. kept losing. There was no payoff. And yeah, Rusev kept fucking losing. And then, yeah, he did get his revenge. But at that point, we just stopped giving a fuck. <laughs> it's exactly why we're glad. Uh, Vince McMahon still calls the shots. Dude, but I don't, dude, I don't think he works in like a, as like a a, fit, a role anymore. He I think still he's just kind owns of there. The company. He still owns the company. He he still has some creative ideas, but but honest the, to the God, net, I the, think the networks a, are basically saying, Vince McMahon, if we ever see your hand in any more of these <laughs> shitty storylines again, <laughs> we will cut off our deal and make you lose millions of fucking dollars. Do you understand, old man? <laughs> Zach, let's be real. I think he does have some say, but not as much say as he did before. Yes. And ble believe it or not, First, like, it's the stuff with Matt Riddle. That's Vince McMahon. That is Vince McMahon. And you know what's actually kind of sad? You know, the creative team now has to kind of limit how much how gr creativity goes into a storyline now. Because of how fucking ridiculous these stories have been. I'm and glad we're going back to good storylines again, but... Like Jesus Christ. Roman has to lose in order for Cody to win the belt. Like, yeah. this is this is great-ass storytelling. Yeah. WrestleMania 40. Cody has his, all his family members. Not There's gonna lie, bro. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm sorry I'm making this comparison. Not gonna lie. WWE for the last five years, I I straight up felt I was watching the first season of fucking Kaneku Man. <laughs> and then right now I feel like we're on like the actual like tiger mask. Oh my god, tiger mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly. <laughs> and before you guys tell me Tiger Mask does not have an anime. Fuck you, he does, it's on Crunchyroll, fight me! All I'm about to say is, uh... <laughs> fucking Rey Mysterio brought the belt out. I have never seen a crowd that large cheer for a man about to belt his own son wrestling ever before. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> only, only WWE can pull it off. And then there's the fucking KSI Logan Paul shit where fucking KSI was dressed up as the fucking prime sports and didn't, strength I mascot. Who it was. Didn't like they end up like whoever was with KSI end up beat. It was Seth. No. Seth beat the sh no Seth avoided Seth like avoided a it. move and let, had Logan let, let beat Logan the shit. Pull up, replaced KSI like he replaced himself with. K KSI, he put KSI on the table, so Logan Paul, like, did a fucking frog splash on top of KSI. <laughs> I know KSI wasn't even mad. He was just like, I was glad to be here. <laughs> I thought I would have the fact that he wants to go against Bobby. If he ever Bobby, has the chance. Holy that shit. I can see that happening, because that KSI had a, like, a, like, a a fighting Joe, career. Joe, here's a question. How is Bradley Bobby was boxing, how, but how still. has Bobby not had a good storyline with Roman when he mentioned that he fought Umaga? And then like roasting about Umaga and then just making Roman more piss. <laughs> it's been a good while since I've seen a wrestler get roasted on live TV. It's been a good while. Oh, and Joe. Dude, the best, the right. best roast. I am about to make you cry tears of joy. Baron Corbin had a badass promo where he said, no more bullshit, no more <laughs> gimmicks. I'm going to burn my past. He threw all the costumes of all his gimmicks in this fucking furnace. No managers, no one to bow down to me. So <laughs> what is he, what's, what is he now? He's just Baron Corbin. 
So, no more bullshit. So is he the lone going back to the lone wolf? He ain't going back to the lone wolf. Cause so what is when he? When he tried to go back to the lone wolf, it fucking failed to capture the NXT title. So he's just going to be Baron Corbin. He's going to be Baron Corbin. So he's just going to be pretty much just a normal ass dude. Basically, no Joe, he's going to create his own character. His he's own not going to have shit handpicked for him. For him. He yes. writes his own fucking story. It's like, let's be real, because they've handpicked his shit for so long, and none of it's fucking worked. Oh my god, none of it worked. I'm actually glad Baron Corbin is finally going to make his own character.